When you're installing a car seat using a vehicle seat belt, the seat belt has to be locked in some way. And specifically, the lap portion of the seat belt has to stay at a fixed length for the car seat to stay tight. In a vehicle made for the North American market after 1996, you should find a locking lap shoulder belt in the back seat. A lot of the time, locking the seat belt in your vehicle might be the answer to that. However, a lot of car seats now come with something called a lock-off. A built-in lock-off mechanism in a car seat is designed to hold that portion of the seat belt tight for you. Sometimes even if labels on the car seat say a lock, it might not truly be a lock. It could be something called a tensioner, and Jamie's gonna talk about that in a moment. In what I like to call a true lock-off scenario, you don't need to do anything else. However, sometimes the user manual may ask you to also lock the vehicle belt. So you do have to read your car seat's manual really carefully. So now that Holly's walked you through what a lock-off does and why you should use it, I'm gonna show you a few of them here with my car seats. Come on. This is the base of a Britex B-Safe, and you'll see the lock-offs are here on the side. This is gonna be similar to how a Kiko key fit works. Uh, lock-offs here by the belt path, and you just put the shoulder belt through that area um, on the side opposite where your buckle is. This is a Kleckling base, and not only is this a lock-off, but this is a belt tensioner. So it locks your seat belt into place, and that green lets you know it's good, but it also makes that belt super tight. So it's a really, really solid install. And this is a Cybex Cloud Q. Now I'm not gonna fully install this because it's awkward to kind of deal with everything around a tripod. So this is a tensioning plate. So you use it with lower anchor installation or with seat belt, but you thread everything through and then slam that into place. And it's gonna really get that seat belt tight, but you have to lock your seat belt. This is not a lock off. The tensioning component is lock your seat belt. And this is a Britex with click tight, which we love. Now this not only is a belt tensioning device, but it also is a real lock off. Um, so you basically just put your seat belt very nice and flat, no creases, buckle it. I have it in the forward facing belt path and you're gonna shove this down and it locks into place. You're good to go. If you're installing a car seat with a seat belt and your car seat doesn't have a built-in lock off mechanism, your vehicle doesn't have a built-in way to lock the seat belts, there's always another solution and you could use something called a locking clip. Typically though, we use that as a last resort these days. For more expert baby and toddler safety tips, follow the Jamie Grayson and Safe Beginnings.